Hey yo, what is up guys? I hope you're all having an awesome Wednesday and this week on What Just Happened Wednesdays, I want to talk about two, three things that happened that aren't really linked but bring them all together for a nice little point, okay? As I'm sure most of you guys know, Kim and Kanye got married this past weekend in Florence. Congrats to them. Uh, we're not going to be talking about them today, though. Kim's younger brother, Rob, who, out of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, is probably the one that's most out of the media spotlight, reportedly didn't attend some of the wedding ceremonies uh, out of insecurity from his weight. If you have watched the show, you've seen him openly talk about his struggle to regain his athletic body that he had when he was in college, and you've heard his family talk very openly about their concern about his weight. And whether or not these wedding reports are true or not, it does serve to highlight a very important thing that often is just dismissed and that is male body image issues. Just like women are often held to this elusive, perfect image of femininity, uh, men are also held to a very high standard of what people view to be masculine. In both cases, oh, being overweight is linked synonymously with characteristics like being lazy and unmotivated, um, and while in some cases that may be true, in most cases it's not. I myself struggled with my weight from about middle school through the end of college. And I would yo-yo diet, I would work out like a crazy person for a month, and then I would crash and go back to bad habits. And my weight would fluctuate dramatically because of it. And it wasn't until I was in the right place mentally, physically, and just emotionally to take on that journey that it did finally stick. And even though I did find that fit rhythm in my life, when I was going through that process, I put an incredible amount of stress on myself to fit these images of perfection and at times it was really overwhelming. So even though people can say Rob is rich, he has access to trainers, to personal uh, chefs and all that sort of stuff, which I have admittedly said about other celebrities in the past, imagine the amount of pressure that he feels to get back to that level of fitness. Um, he has photographers sitting outside of his house every day waiting to get a picture of him for the sole purpose to sell it to a magazine or to a blog which would inevitably read Rob is still fat Rob Kardashian can't get the pounds off family is concerned a huge part of getting healthy is the mental and psychological state you need to be in for it to work the reality is, it's not easy. It's going to suck. And you will not see the results you want when you want to see them. You will inevitably feel like the work you're putting in is not being returned in outcome. And it's hard work. And if you're being realistic, it'll take a year for you to finally get into a good fit rhythm. And this isn't just because you need to form new habits, but it also is because your body needs to re-stabilize. The hormones that control hunger, satiety, your metabolism, all of those things take about a year to re-stabilize to your new level of body fat, your new body function, and all of that. Which just adds one more hurdle to someone's journey. Now, while most social media outlets 
have similar headlines about Rob's weight and pictures of him and all that sort of stuff. Now one social media platform that is working to counteract the overwhelming and insecurity driven society that has birthed things like thin inspiration and fat shaming is Tumblr. The other day I was scrolling through my Tumblr feed and saw a picture of someone who was very fit, skinny, and I was feeling less than stellar about myself, so I went to type into the search bar the word skinny, and this is what came up. A social media site just asked me if everything was okay, and links for help with eating disorders were provided. Now that is awesome. It's things like this that are going to help curb that ever-growing trend of idealizing unhealthy things like not eating and throwing up or cutting yourself or any of that sort of stuff. So to Tumblr, I applaud you. To Rob, I wish you nothing but the best and success in your own journey to getting to where you want to be. And to any of you guys who are struggling with your weight or being teased about it, whether you're too skinny or too big or whatever, know that there are so many people going through it or that have gone through it and that there are thousands of resources out there to help you with every step of the journey. Alright guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button, share it with a friend. I hope you guys are all having an awesome Wednesday and I'll see you on the other side.